Mitchell Sigman from Cherry Audio talking about Voltage Modular. What we have here is what we call Module Designer, and Module Designer is a separate app where you can lay out and design modules that work with Voltage Modular. So what we have here is the main work window, and what I've done is I've made this background over here, which I guess I could zoom in for you. Um, here we go. Okay. So this is a module right here. This background was, is a PNG graphic that was made in Photoshop and just the screws and the proper width and the little Cherry Audio logo, but you can use any PNG graphic that's the correct size. You can set the width of it. You can see over here it has all these HP sizes, and these are standard Eurorack HP units. Uh, so you basically, and it tells you the pixels right there, so if you're gonna make it in a graphics program, you can specify the width and pixels. The height is standardized. It's standard Eurorack height, which I believe is 360 pixels, if I remember right. And then once you've got your background, you can drag in all the items you want to put in there, like say I want a knob, right? Oh, well, there's my knob, and there's different styles you can use. Uh, this is a standard like Moog style knob, and you can resize these as well, if you like. These are, uh, all these items are SVGs, they're vector graphics, which means that they scale without getting pixelated. Uh, so I could, in theory, make this much bigger if I wanted to. Um, I can make it huge, obviously you don't really want to do that. But these have standard sizes that they, they go to. So, so let's say I want to make some knobs. Drag in my knobs. Um, we'll go with a, you know, a large one. We also have these really nifty outer hash mark things over here. And these actually change color as you move around, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, say I want audio coming into it. I can take an input jack and I can drag that over there. And there's an input jack, and th there's a bunch of controls. You can have a, a digital counter. If you want to have a digital display, you could select how many digits it was. Now it's three digits, and so forth. So once you've laid out all of the, the items in here, knobs, switches, whatever, uh, then over here on this side, this is the Java code window. And over here, what's in here right now is just all of this stuff, the physical parts that are in here. But you can also actually enter put in your Java code for the DSP to actually make it do things. You can assign buttons and knobs to do things and jacks to actually function for audio input and output. So once you've got everything designed how you want it, we can go up here and go build and run. And this puts it in a test mode and everything will be usable, all the knobs and stuff, and you can run chords and stuff. And you can run, this runs test signals. You can go in and out of your audio I.O. of your computer. So you can actually test the module out and see what it does and see that it works properly without actually having to render the whole thing to a file and actually put it into Voltage Modular and see what happens. So you can easily build a file here and all the DSP is Java code, which is much, much easier to deal with than standard C uh, DSP type programming. So if you have experience with Java at all, it's pretty easy to make a module. And the other great thing about it is it's by its very nature, it's completely cross-platform. So you don't have to make separate versions for different platforms. And once you make the module, it's going to work as a DST, as an AU, as a standalone, whatever. Um, so once you're done with that, you can export it, and that's it. It, it will create a module for you. I'm going to take it out of test mode here. And that's how you make a module for it. We're very much looking for people to develop quirky custom modules that do whatever they want, and uh, if they're of good quality, we'll be glad to put them in our, our store, our online store, and build the community.